I know I could very quickly convince you this is a lung because in some areas, like out here, you could recognize alveoli. In fact, you could recognize alveoli that have air in them. What you can also recognize very quickly is that it's a very hyperemic lung. And in addition, some of these alveoli are filled with fluid and proteinaceous material. In addition, in the middle portion of the specimen, uh, you could almost instantly recognize the fact that within this lung, we are also dealing with an abscess in which we have necrosis and destruction of lung tissue and infiltrates of fibrin and inflammatory cells. And on the other side of the abscess, again, we have uh, a, a hyperemic, perhaps uh, edematous lung as well. This is a fetal lung, and this uh, lung is inflamed and has a pneumonia because of aspiration. Uh, newborns, infants, frequently aspirate. Uh, at the birth time of birth, they may aspirate amniotic fluid as well. And I don't know the exact history on this patient, but if you look at some of these uh, areas that have intraalveolar or perhaps uh, proteinaceous uh, infiltrates, if you could recognize or make out squames which is a type of cell uh, exfoliated from the amnion, then you could uh, pretty much uh, give the cause of this aspiration as being amniotic fluid. Otherwise, everything inside here is junk. It's inflammatory cells, it's neutrophils, it's fibrin, it's necrotic uh, tissue. And um, no, need, no need to get too fancy on this case. This is a pneumonia. Clinically, it's secondary to aspiration. And if you could find some squames uh, within either the inflamed area or surrounding area, you can pretty much uh, theorize that this was secondary to uh, amniotic fluid aspiration. Thank you very much.